Well, the athleticism of the superstars of the world, and they'll all be out on court today as Australia's number one in the world, taking on England number three. And I tell you, this is one of the most anticipated games off the back of last night, South Africa and New Zealand, the draw. Live here in Cape Town, South Africa, we are underway, Pamela Cookie, and straight away, an infringement by Courtney Bruce outside the circle. You're kidding me. Getting way too excited already. And then penalised for that contact. Jeff Wood Conan, so the moving combination for the Diamonds. Been given the nod today. Lizzie Watson under a bit of pressure. Let's not forget Jeeva Mentor will know these shooters back to front. Played with them at the Sunshine Coast Lightning in the early years. Against them over the last few. Australia on the board. Bruce oh, out hunting. Check out that vision. As you say, Bruce came out to try and cover, but leaving Eleanor Cardwell all on her own. Good hands for Goju. That's exactly why she comes on the court. Just her 20th cap in a red dress. Housby, the transition is quick. The finish, good for England. And that's what we saw them, the Aussie bench talking at the quarter times, keeping England voters up, not letting that Metcalf do that long, deep drive as the deep ball. And then it going long into Cardwell or Housby. Brazzle off the one foot. Great vision to go out to the left and find Watson. Content goalkeeper. Well, Lizzie Watson for me the again. Is She's the one that's standing up for the Diamonds. And now, step forward. Her partner in crime, the captain and the vice captain doing the work up front. Down by two at the quarter time break. Housby, front position. Steadies. Australia. Didn't even look like missing. 100% is going strong. So a positional de switch defensively, mentor up high, Gusketh goes back on Conan. They both retreat. Shooter to shooter, G had to be pinpoint perfect, and it was. And they use the high ball, so the height mismatch of benefit there for the Diamonds. Well, that's not going to help. And it's just England, Moses, just getting too tight on the Aussie Diamonds. They, they want them to be close to them. They want to draw those contacts. Oh, and Williams out hunting. She came out. She's tried. She's been so, so prolific in that kind of standing from behind and coming forward to be, receive ball. Well, momentum now with the team in red. Pocket again for Jay Pocket Clark. One step up. You're pushing into her. Yeah. Have we, got, have we got a scoring end, folks? Have we got a scoring end? But it's obstruction, goalkeeper. And also Chelsea Pittman sitting on, standing ready to inject into the game as well. Well, back to three we go. Pittman, back space. Steps on, quick offload. Chelsea Pittman into Cardwell. Oh, she uses her body movement so well, that footwork. And that's the luxury we talked about having a, a squad of 12, but of that's different that's styles that. of players so that you can bring them on just to give a different dynamic in different situations. Credit to this England defensive unit. Ah, oh, for Doju nearly gets a tip. They've really grinded out this quarter and they're starting to get a few that's little tips, obviously, in this late last couple of minutes. 25 seconds on the clock, it goes out, the rebound just into the hands of Kara Conan. She'll steady for the Diamonds. They lead by two. So Jay Clark, Fran Williams, both, and Chelsea Pittman, they've been the impact players for England. Yeah, Chelsea Pittman really able to get that. It's the work she does off the ball first to create that space for herself. Terrific story, Chelsea Pittman. Worked really hard to get herself back to this level to represent England. Kira Austin in the back of play. You just see this positional switch here from Rufa Doju coming up high. Fran Williams going back into cover Conan. Okay, what about Kara Conan anchoring the Australian Diamonds at the back? 28 goals to her name. The mastermind Both Steph Wood players. sitting on the side of the court at the moment. Of 
disruption. Contact goalkeeper. Backspace, Austin had to pull the ball Step out of up. the air. It wasn't yes. perfectly placed. And we're all tied up again. Intriguing stuff here, Helen Housby. Says, let's go straight to the post. Cardwell takes the shot. The England Roses fight their way back and they victory over Australia. Wow, wow, wow. What immense work and yes, you should be pleased. Well, just in less than 24 hours, we've had two of the most enormous games unfold here at the Netball World Cup. A draw last night, South Africa and New Zealand, and now this, for the first time in World Cup history, England, a goal over Australia.